So let's quickly look at another uh, uh, condition, all right? Condition of um, red blood cell destruction, all right? And that's a paroxysmal or cold hemoglobinuria. Paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria. So this condition is also known as donut Lansteiner or hemolytic anemia and also known as a donut Lansteiner syndrome, okay? So we'll just briefly look at this condition because I actually split the videos. The clinical features have a different video. The treatment have a different video. The symptoms have a different video and all that. So paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria is also what is known as what the donut Lansteiner hemolytic anemia or the donut Lansteiner syndrome. All right. So it is actually an uncommon autoimmune hemolytic anemia in which the autoantibodies to red cells actually bind to the cells. In cold temperatures, they fix complements, all right, and this can cause what? Intravascular hemolysis upon warming, okay? So now, um, this paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria is challenging because it is a rare disorder and patients can become quite ill from intravascular hemolysis. That's Destruction of red blood cells inside the blood vessels. Now, there are also other cold induced disorders such as what cold agglutinin disease and cryoglobulinemia. Uh, all right, and you can actually confuse these two conditions with the paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria. All right, so in this paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria. Red cell is lies in circulation. That's intravascular hemolysis. All right. And basically, the antibodies will bind to red blood cells when the temperature is below blood body temperature. And once the temperature increases, that's once it becomes warm, the destruction starts. All right. So it's actually a rare form of hemolytic anemia. It is characterized by recurrent hemolysis following exposure to cold. The original cases were described by Donald Lansteiner and Ehrlich syphilis. Now, it is commoner in the past due to association with what syphilis. Um, Self-limiting forms occur in children following viral infection. Uh, most people that have this will have a history of exposure to cold, all right? But it may not always be present, okay? Patients will present with sudden intravascular hemolysis leading to pallor, dark urine, abdominal pain, and sometimes collapsing. The antibody is a biphasic immunoglobin G that binds red blood cells below 20 degrees Celsius in the peripheral circulation, and this will cause lysis. That's when the temperature goes back to what normal body temperature or above, all right? Now, the antibody has specificity for P antigens all right so guys that's it about the paroxysmal nocturnal cold or paroxysmal cold hemoglobinuria also known as a donut lansteiner anemia or syndrome okay